Oh boy, here we go. Yes, we are once again talking about Cyberpunk 2077. We have got to talk about one of the biggest leaks in Cyberpunk history ever. And yes, CD Projekt Red kind of accidentally confirmed that this leak is true. So we're gonna talk about that, revisit that, and go in all those details as well. Plus, we've got a question, is Microsoft and Xbox gearing up to finally acquire CD Projekt Red? We've gotta take a look at all the evidence regarding that and much more. And one of the simplest but biggest missing features from Cyberpunk 2077 has to make it into update 1.6. I'm gonna talk about what this is and why it's so very important that it makes it into update 1.6. Plus, a big question here, will we ever see Cyberpunk 2 be a thing? We're gonna talk about that as well, but first, check this out. All right, Warhammer fans, get excited. I have something very big to share with you. It's called Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. It's the ultimate strategy and domination MMO mobile game, which allows you to build and train a powerful army like no other with over 30 demos and warriors of chaos, increase your strength and power to protect your fortress and ultimately destroy your enemies. Now, this is just one part of this massive game, so I've got to show you more. I love that this game embraces the classic lore of the Warhammer fantasy battles, and the Warhammer Online universe is waiting for you to become the ever chosen. So be sure to check it out on iOS, Android, and Windows. Download it right now by clicking the link in the description below or by scanning the QR code on the screen. All right, so what makes Warhammer Chaos and conquests so very special. Beyond training your own army and collecting many unique warlords, you can actually design your own troops and even level up and upgrade warlords with a set of special skills to dominate everything in your path. Now, what I personally love is the alliances you can form, allowing you to join forces and conquer the old world, but they can also help you protect your citadel and speed up construction. You'll also need the favor of the Chaos Gods by completing battle and defense rituals. This will boost your attack and defense, better preparing you to bring chaos to the lands. But there's so much more to do. You can participate in side activities, challenges, and much more. Want to build your base faster? Well, collect warp stones and other resources to gain that advantage. You can even engage in what is called the Realm Battle to experience the chaos and rewards of the real-time strategy MMO experience in Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. Climb the ranks, claim the Chaos Legion Master title, and ultimately become the Ever Chosen. Download the game by clicking the link in the top of the description or by scanning the QR code and discover Warhammer Chaos and Conquest. Check it out. All right, so we've got to find out what's happening with Cyberpunk right now, starting with this headline right here. It says Cyberpunk Data Miner leaks entire DLC expansion story, by far one of the biggest leaks ever in Cyberpunk history. And don't worry, I'm not going to go over story spoilers or anything like that, but we will be diving into some of the really cool gameplay features, what's happening with the map and that sort of thing. But you know what? How did CD Projekt Red kind of essentially confirm that this leak is actually true? Uh, check this out right here. It says Electric Rider DLC Cyberpunk confirmed by GamePresser.com article retraction. This tells us a lot. Furthermore, it goes on to say this, GamePresser.com posted this update to their original article. We have been asked by CD Projekt Red to modify the content of this news due to the fact that published materials such as locations, plot, or verbatim quoted dialogues mentioned in the text are a secret of CD Projekt Red and were obtained in a manner inconsistent with Cyberpunk end user agreement. Oh boy, that tells me a lot. In fact, it tells me that a lot of this leak apparently seems to be true. Furthermore, it goes on to say this right here. Get this. It says, shortly after the leak began spreading, the files were taken down due to a DMCA strike, but the cat is already out of the bag at this point. Due to the nature of the leak, it will take plenty of time before gamers have pieced together all the information to get a good picture of what CD Projekt Red is working on. However, with the work already done, some have been able to craft out an outline of the DLC story. Now, we're not going to get into that, but we are going to check this out right here, some of the gameplay features and stuff as explained in this article. It says a recent alleged cyberpunk leak revealed a lot about the upcoming DLC, 
including what characters and location players will get to discover. And this is expected, of course, with the expansion pack that is going to be releasing in 2023, which I'm personally super hyped about. And I know a lot of you guys are curious also about update 1.6. I hope to provide you with some information about that as well. Now, check this out. It says, according to the leaker, the DLC will contain at least seven main missions, although one cannot be entirely sure due to the incomplete, incomplete excuse me, nature of the leak. Complementing the main missions, Cyberpunk's expansion will feature new fixer quests. That sounds cool. World Stories. Now, World Stories is what I am mostly interested in, and I can't wait to see what that is, and I have some theories. Then it says World Encounters, which a lot of us have been dying for, random encounters throughout that open world space. And then the DLC will also allow players to explore regions of Night City that were previously inaccessible, including the Combat Zone and the Sports Dome, which will feature one of the main missions. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, sure, I'm really excited about the actual main story arc, the main missions, but let me tell you what, I'm more excited about them fully fleshing out Night City, making it more fully realized with these world stories, which I think are going to be multi-part stories that connect to each other, much, much like Ghost of Shima. So that's what I'm mostly curious about for sure. Let me know, out of all the features that were li listed right there, what are you mostly excited about? Now, what we do know, according to this leak, uh, is that it might be that we would be playing as a new character, perhaps. We'll have to wait and find out if that pans out to be true, of course, because I know a lot of you guys actually want to continue your journey with me, and then it seems like it's very divisive. A lot of you want a new character to play as, so I'm really curious to see where you stand now, of course. Now, what about Xbox? What are they up to? Are they going to be acquiring CD Projekt Red. So let's get into the evidence right here. It says Xbox will acquire more studios. Phil Spencer says, we're definitely not done. There's no quota for how many more studios Microsoft will acquire and when the deals will be made, however. So CD Projekt has previously made some comments about this. They said CD Projekt Red is not for sale and has no plans to be acquired. Of course, you have to remember their stock right now is really down significantly so essentially uh, for a company like microsoft who's interested in acquiring studios they're for sale they they view it as like oh man they're cheap right now we can help them out that sort of thing uh, but cd project red had this to say we have been saying for years that we plan to remain independent and do not plan to become part of a large entity we're also not looking for a strategic investor there are provisions that significantly hinder hostile takeovers Hmm, interesting. Furthermore, it goes on to say this one right here. At this point, CD Projekt Red is looking to remain fully self-sustainable and has even been on a shopping spree of its own, having acquired a couple new studios to begin working on multiple projects simultaneously, including Digital Escapes and the Molasses Flood. The company also expanded its presence in Poland, setting up a second major studio. They want to do uh, two triple a uh, game development at the same time which is definitely an interesting strategy considering their difficulties with cyberpunk's launch but yeah it seems like right now cd project red even though they've had a massive hit with their stock about negative like it's like 75 percent hit on their stock uh since the launch of cyberpunk 2077 they're still holding on and saying you know we're, what we're gonna uh, get through this storm and we're going to do it our way and we're going to remain independent no matter what which uh, you know what I say kudos to them let's see if they can pull that off of course now a lot of you guys are wondering about update 1.6 what in the world is going on with that so all I can tell you guys is this right here that yes they are still doing those quiet silent updates to cyberpunk 2077 through the dev branch and qa testing stuff is definitely going on they're testing something something i'm assuming that's update 1.6 and when they start doing this type of uh testing uh it's usually a month or two out again i think it's going to be late august september that we will be seeing update 1.6 that is totally my guess by the way 100 speculation but that is going off with the time frames of, you know, the past, what has happened with Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, we got to talk about uh, one of the biggest missing features for Cyberpunk 2077. It just kills me that this is not in the game and it desperately needs to be in the game. And it was talked about quite a bit in this subject right here in this, uh, I guess you would say, thread on Reddit. You know what Cyberpunk needs? 
a flashlight <laughs> it says yes you heard me right have you ever been in a dark corridor with no lights or have you been walking around at night around night city or the areas surrounding the city is it annoying when you don't have a flashlight like the one in the fallout games maybe not even a flashlight but a night vision upgrade to your optics what do you guys think it's so simple my personal opinion i want both i want several options i want attachments to weapons to add flashlights to be able to turn them on and off and then i do want night vision goggles i want uh you know thermal goggles that sort of thing should already be in cyberpunk this is a suit super futuristic game how is it not a thing and i want that as a free feature in update 1.6 i don't want it to be part of a paid package i think that would be very very weird and honestly strange if they did that so yeah that's one thing that i think needs to be added uh to for uh for free to cyberpunk 2077 for sure now we got to talk about this one i thought this was a great post out here it goes on to say this the way cyberpunk has been treated is indicative of the modern gaming discourse online and it's tragic that coverage around this game has been so emblematic of it it goes on to say this right here and this one comes from md1957 it says this isn't high sodium but i have to admit how sovereign uh, it if not rather excuse me depressing to think but this game has been seemingly been branded nigh permanently by the online consensus as either dead game or disappointing morality tell about the evil corpos and broken promises. Even now, it's seemingly near impossible to say something positive about the game online without a long caveat about its cons and controversies both alleged and real people it seems are far less willing to give the benefit of the doubt and more content to double down on the same talking points or lament how the game is not what it used to be few appear willing to so much as give it a chance of a no man's sky redemption's arc whether due to clickbait personal clout paradoxically unreachable expectations or that self reinforcement reinforcing excuse me sentiment of modern gaming sucks and you know what this one i really feel this post big time and it is a shame that people aren't giving cyberpunk more of a chance i do get it don't get me wrong i totally understand where people are coming from and some of the negativity of course because once you're burned and you have a terrible experience with the product you know that's pretty much it but right now cyberpunk especially after the recent updates is just on the right path in my opinion and that's why i'm gonna keep supporting it and even you know when uh cd project red moves on to unreal engine 5 with the witcher and of course their next cyberpunk endeavor i really want them to continue supporting this game they need a crew at cd project red to never ever give up on cyberpunk 2077 at least until cyberpunk 2 is out that's just my personal opinion let me know what you guys think now a lot of you guys are wondering yeah you know mentioning cyberpunk 2 hey do you think we'll ever get a second cyberpunk game i just think there's too much potential and such a rich lore for it to end with one game and this post comes from sepio africanus 82 i believe it is hopefully i didn't butcher that name but anyway i do think we're getting a cyberpunk 2 definitely this game actually did extremely well initially with its sales i can't imagine how well it would have done if they just had released it right it would they would have killed it absolutely killed it so uh yes i do believe we're going to get a cyberpunk 2 and they have to nail that one if they don't nail it i don't think we're going to get any more cyberpunk after that which would really really suck uh but yeah cd project red is definitely interested in the brand they're really investing in it right now on all aspects with the expansion and also the netflix tv series is coming up as well so they are very very interested in cyberpunk for sure guess what time it is it is time to go over your top comments so check out my previous videos we're going to go over those comments and remember leave a comment down below it could end up right here in a future video but let's do this my most recent video was this one right here about new game plus how cd project red's official response and bad news about cdpr yeah their stock took a huge hit a lot of you guys did say hey yo robbie the stock market overall you know is down across the world and that is true but even when it was up cd project red was down significantly and i'm surprised that nothing happened in cd project red's favor with the stock in terms of the next gen update update 1.5 that's pretty shocking to me you know because they said also that the cyberpunk sales went up so yeah 
Hopefully things do recover. I just wish CD Projekt Red the best, of course, with that. Now, let's get into what you guys had to say about this video, shall we? Uh, we have Selkin who says this. I feel the value drop of CD Projekt Red is justified, but I'm pissed that EA, Take-Two, Ubisoft, and other companies haven't paid the price for the disrespect and money-hungry anti-game practices. But in some ways, I do think that they've all been through their own stuff. Trust me. Not on the level of CD Projekt Red. We've had some very bad launches um, from many companies, but again, not, I just don't think it's quite on the level of teasing a game for like nearly a decade and then botching that launch. Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. Of course, EA had Anthem. They've had uh, messed up launches like that, but it was not like a decade of teasing a game. Like, dude, I feel like CD Projekt Red was on a whole other level uh, with that bunch botched launch for sure then we have devil dog 5976 said started playing cyberpunk two days ago nice i love playing but really wish there was more to do other than missions i also wish there was more romance options and clothing sets better looking clothing because i don't like looking like a walking glowing stick yeah this has been a lot of what people have been saying and that's why it looks like we're going to be getting a transmog system in the future so you can wear what you want to wear of course that's uh super important for sure then we have this one right here let me pop that up it says way obago who says bought cyberpunk in the summer cell two days in and i can see that it had an insanely high potential if management was better and they had more time i can't even imagine what they would have looked like even still it's amazing already exciting and hoping for a sequel on unreal engine 5 epic comeback yeah that's how i feel like oh man this is their chance to absolutely nail it for sure uh then we i think i skipped over a comment actually my bad we have shadow who says this as far as features other than what's been mentioned i'd love to see a hangout feature calling up a character to meet for a night out at one of the clubs or taking your romance out for the night maybe with some random event chances to keep up the them repeatable and interesting that's cool i love that random event chances yes totally agree with that sort of thing the characters are so good uh so more time to chill with them in night city would be a dream having just come back to cyberpunk for the first time since launch with some mods it's surprising how much i love it it's still, even though it still needs some work, CD Projekt Red deserves the hurt for the lies and launch. So do a lot of companies, but free fixes, not monetization. Worth some respect, though. I'll uh, stay leery of future launches. Yeah, don't pre-order. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I recommend not pre-ordering. All right, so we have Joey uh, who goes on to say this right here. He says, I actually just hit the 600 hour mark the other day. And man, oh man, if there was at least a reset option like mentioned in the video, I would have been all over it. Uh, to do redo the side quests and the NCPD scanner stuff. Also, the mod for deeper romantic engagement sounds pretty cool. Might have to give that one a go. Here's to hoping the new update comes out soon. Chooms. Absolutely. Again, you know, I'm hoping we get actual news, like official, official news instead of us always speculating. But I'm hopeful for late August, mid to late August or September for this update 1.6. Let's cross our fingers. It is as good, if not better, than what we got with update 1.5. But also, I got to tell you guys this right here. And remember to download Warhammer Chaos and Conquest by following the link in the top of the description or scanning the QR code on screen. It's the ultimate strategy and domination MMO mobile game, which allows you to build and train a powerful army to conquer your enemies. So be sure to check it out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Cyberpunk 2077 news updates. I have you guys covered as always. And yes, more open world gaming goodness. I hope to do other coverage of other games, of course, on the channel. So look out for that. But thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Take care.